Dear students, today we will start a new series of modules for very important topic in computer science known as algorithm. And in today's module, we will cover informal review of algorithm. So what is an algorithm? It is set of steps that define how a task is performed. It's very simple. So whatever task you had at hand, you need to define steps how to avail, achieve this task. So let's have a practical example. For example, if you are said to make a cup of tea. So what are the steps? You put water in the kettle. You boil water. Put tea bags in the water. Add milk. Stir. Add sugar. Put tea in the cup and fetch the cup and juice. And sip. So these are the steps to make a cup of tea. Similarly, whatever, whatever is the problem which we want to solve using computer science, we first of all define set of procedures that how this problem can be solved. And that set of procedure is known as algorithm. So let's have another example. We want to convert kilometers to meter. So first step would be take input of kilometers. For example, we say x, like x could be anything, 2. And then multiply the input with 1000 because we want to convert kilometer to meter. So that 2 which we inputted will be multiplied by 1000 which will become 2000. And then display the result of 2000 to the user. So that's it. You have converted kilometer to meter. So these are the steps which we want to define for any problem in computer science. And we have also learned in one of the previous modules that machine cycle is, a, is also an algorithm. And what is the algorithm? As long as the halt instruction has not been executed, halt means that computer will stop working after this instruction has occurred. So as long as th there is no halt instruction, what is the algorithm? Algorithm is fetch the instruction, decode the instruction, and execute the instruction. Fetch the next instruction, decode the instruction, and execute the instruction. And we also learned the concept of pipelining where different, different instructions were fetched at the same time, different were decoded, and others were executed. So all of this is an algorithm. So let's have another running example of using an algorithm. For example, we want to write an algorithm for calculating the mean value, which is an average value. So we have list of numbers, 1, 2, 5, 6, 6, 99. And we want to find mean of all of the numbers. So what you need, first of all, you need something where you will be storing the total of all of these numbers, which is called total. So we have total and you set it as zero in instruction number two. And then there is a counter and you set it as zero. So what is the procedure to find the mean? You add all of these numbers and the sum of these numbers will be divided by one, two, three, four, five, six the number of these numbers. So we, we will divide by 6. So how it will start? Start with the first number in the list. Add the number into the total. So this means this 1 will be coming to this place. So this 0 will become 1. So at the moment total have the value of 1. Then what is, the, what is next? Add 1 to the counter. So counter will become 1. If this, the last number in the list, no, if it is not, if no, go to the next number and repeat step A to C. So, again, repeat. What is that? Add the number to the total. So, this means 1 plus 2. 2 is the next number. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. So, at the moment, total is having 3. So, this steps will be executed and counter will become 2. So this means counter will be storing the number of iterations we have performed 
and total will be storing the total number of uh, the sum of all numbers so it will then have 3 plus 5 it will have 3 then it will have plus 6 it will have value of 4 then it will have plus 6 it will have value of 5 then it will have plus 99 and it will have value of 6 so if this is the last number yes 99 is the last number at the moment total is containing the sum of all numbers and counter is containing 6 which is the total numbers so if this is the last number yes if yes go to the step number 5 and what is step number 5 find the mean by dividing the total by the value of counter so which mean you need to add all these number and divided by 6 would be your mean value so this is basically an explanation or uh, the instructions in the algorithm or the steps in general language or in simple language that we need to tell that how this algorithm will be performed so algorithm in the algorithm execution many researchers believe that every activity of the human mind including imagination creativity and decision making is actually the result of an algorithm execution so if we summarize today's module we have very generally defined the algorithm and we have solved different examples of how we can write algorithm for simple things to be performed by the computer 